Yeah, hey everyone, this is Dwayne with Good Works Auto, and uh, I just wanted to do a uh, quick little video today to uh, just try to get some new content on my channel and uh, just show you what I'm working on today. It's a uh, 2008 Pontiac G6, obviously with a broken tail light, which um, we had ordered a tail light, but uh, I don't know if we ordered the wrong one or uh, Rock Auto sent us the wrong one but the one we got is actually for the left side so uh i couldn't replace that today or fix that today but uh what else i'm doing on it is um replacing the headlight switch and the uh windshield wiper switch which uh both of them have been broken and uh repaired at least once or twice or more times you can see this one's all all messed up and uh it actually had a uh intermittent problem where the lights were only working uh intermittently but if you played around with this arm they would if they weren't working they would come back on so i think there's a bad connection inside here is my guess that probably when it got broke why the wires got pulled on and uh it's not making a good connection inside here, but I don't know. I haven't taken it apart to check that out, but that would be my guess. But uh, I actually had a uh, hard time getting that headlight one out. Uh, this is the uh, windshield wiper one. You can see they just got two little tabs on the top and the bottom here. And they just slide in, slide into the little hole, hook the wires up, and uh, this windshield wiper one came out like super simple, like within seconds. But uh, I had a hard time getting this uh, headlight one out, and I couldn't really figure it out. I was thinking maybe there was a tab or something I wasn't seeing. Something was holding it in, but man, I had a hard time with this one. Uh, probably took me at least. 45 minutes or so to try to get this one out and uh probably won't be able to see it but what happened is uh when they had glued it when they had glued it uh or used uh whatever it looks some of whatever they use looks like super glue to fix this thing but uh i don't know if you can see it in this light but the super glue ran down or whatever it was round ran down the arm and down here to the little channel and underneath here and around that tab where this thing connects to you inside here and you can see that's all the super glue or whatever it was that got used that uh dripped and ran down in there whenever they tried to fix that arm <laughs> so uh, that's why i had such a hard time getting getting that one out and i had to be really uh really careful and really easy with it so i didn't break any of this plastic here you know because it's just old brittle cheap plastic and you know if i would have broke it then that probably would have been more problems so anyway it took me a while to get that one out but that was it i ended up having to stick some uh picks and little thin screwdrivers and stuff i had in there and just try to break that loose and keep working it every which way i could and uh finally got it out of there but um yeah that's what i'm working on today and uh i just wanted to do a uh quick little video on that to get some new content on my page and um actually i'll probably do another video on this car because uh this car actually has a uh, battery drain on it a uh a pretty weird uh pretty weird battery drain parasitic draw on it that uh i kind of already diagnosed it but I, I haven't actually fixed the problem yet so uh I'll probably do another little video on that one. 
but uh yeah i just wanted to get another video up and uh you know some kind of content on my channel so uh yeah that's it for this one all right bye